Installing a Caseta by Lutron Diva Smart Dimmer is easy and takes as little as 15 minutes. First, turn the power off at the breaker. Double check to make sure the power is off. In most situations, you only need a screwdriver and a pair of pliers to do the job. First, we will show you how to wire the initial dimmer. We will then show you the two options you have for installing a second location, an existing switch and an accessory switch. Lastly, we'll show you how to adjust the dimming range. First, remove your existing switch. If you have two switches that control this light, you should have three wires plus a ground connected to your old switch. Take a piece of electrical tape and tag the wire connected to the different colored screw of the existing switch. This is typically a black wire. Then remove your existing switch. Connect the ground wire, typically a bare copper wire, to the green wire on the dimmer. Connect the tagged wire to the black wire on your new dimmer. Then connect the remaining two wires individually to the red wire and blue wire on the dimmer. Make a note of the color wire that you connect to the blue wire in this location because we will need to identify this wire in the second location. In this example, we're choosing the red wire to connect to the blue wire. Mount the control and move to the second location. We will now take you through both options for the second location, starting with the existing switch. Take a piece of electrical tape and tag the common wire. As a reminder, this is the wire connected to the different colored screw. Then remove the tagged wire from the switch. Identify the wire that is the same color as what we attached to the blue wire in the first location. Leave this wire connected and remove the remaining wire from the switch. Connect the two removed wires together with the yellow jumper wire. Connect the other end of the yellow jumper wire to the black screw on the existing switch. Mount the control, install your wall plate, and turn the power back on at the breaker. Check that the dimmer turns the lights on and off. To install a Diva accessory switch, take a piece of electrical tape and tag the common wire before removing the old switch. As a reminder, this is the wire connected to the different colored screw. Then remove the switch, connect the ground wire, typically a bare copper wire, to the green wire, and attach the tagged wire to the black wire on the accessory. Identify the same color wire you attach to the blue wire in the first location and connect it to the blue wire on the accessory. Connect the remaining wire to the red wire and mount the accessory switch back into the wall. Install your wall plate and turn the power back on at the breaker. Check that the dimmer turns the lights on and off. If you have a four-way location, you should have four wires coming out from the wall. Remove the old switch. Then connect the ground wire, typically a bare copper wire, to the green wire. Identify two wires that are the same color as the wire you attached to the blue wire in the other locations. Attach both of these wires to the blue wire on the accessory switch. Attach the remaining two wires each to the black and to the red wire. It will not matter which wire attaches to black and which one attaches to red. Install your wall plate and turn the power back on at the breaker. Check that the dimmer turns the lights on and off. Now that your dimmer is installed, adjust the low end of the dimming range to improve bulb performance. Pull the front accessible service switch, also known as FAS, out to the open position. Push and hold the off button. While continuing to hold the off button, push the FAS into the closed position. Continue to hold the off button for approximately six seconds until the bar blinks. Then release the off button and use the slider to readjust the low end level. Finish and save the new trim level by pushing the off button again. And that's it. For FAQs and helpful hints, visit casetawireless.com.